<laughs> what the heck? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> What are you what the hell? <laughs> G'day guys, Menace here with another Ark Survival. Wait a minute. No. G'day Peanuts, Menace here. <laughs> the general of the Peanut Army, as usual, living up to my name. I'm gonna leave that in. I've got to get used to saying it. I mean, it's. I want to make it my thing, you know? Everyone's got to have a thing. I've got a thing. Um, it's going to be a peanut thing. And you guys are going to be my peanuts. It's going to be like my theme, I guess we could say. Um, yeah. Anyway, so today I'm flying on my Quetzal as always. Because this thing is just so amazing. Oh my god, I love it. I love it to bits. But what I'm doing, you can see over there in that way sort of place is my mammoth and my dota curious they're down here because i just thought it's a good place to collect some resources because i want to build our entrance to our platform for this bit here um i've got an idea <coughs> excuse me i don't know if it's going to work um we'll have to see i'll give you a rundown of what we got we want to make it like baller we want to make it the most coolest looking well it's probably not gonna be the most cool but we want a pretty good one because we want people to come here and see that we're serious about playing arc survival no we want to see that they're serious about keeping them out you can't come in here unless you knock down my door with a whole heap of dodos or uh carbonimuses those guys there unless you're selling cookies then i'll let you know give crap i love cookies man holy crap i love cookies um yeah so i reckon what i'm gonna do is probably so this little See this, like, can you see the, the sort of gradient? Oh, big, yeah, cracking out the big words, dudes. Gradient of the slope is just absolutely perfect. This point here kind of seems like a good sort of area to run across a whole heap of stone foundations. Upon these stone foundations, we're going to put a behemoth stone gate because they look the sexiest out of all the gates. Metal, I don't like metal. I don't know if you noticed, but all my stuff is stone and wood because metal looks clinical and yucky and blah, 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 blah. and we have no need for it we don't pvp here nobody pvps which kind of stands to reason as to why i'm building such a badass gate to keep people out but nonetheless we're gonna do it anyway it's actually to keep out mainly uh raptors and whatever we don't get many t-rexes if you recall if you were here back in the old days if you were like og peanut like uh back in the days when we lived on the old server where we live way up in the north on the side of like a mountain all the things would spawn, like alphas and T-Rexes and all the crazy crap would come down from the mountain and start messing up my stuff. If you remember even more, if you're really good at paying attention to my videos, the um, Turtle Apartments. Oh, I miss the Turtle Apartments. Hey, a little bit of reminiscing. Um, yeah, they got totally wrecked by uh, an alpha T-Rex. So there I had to do like pretty hardcore defenses. But here, the hardest thing that we have to deal with really is like raptors and dillos, which is kind of a relief because it makes me feel better about sleeping at night let's grab the quetzal actually while i'm talking crap why don't we just do something get you down here so yeah that's the reason i want to build um a round um a base is sort of just a wall because one it will look totally awesome and two it'll keep out the little creepy crawlies that do tend to wander in even though this is a big area um and three i've been talking about it for like ever ever about making this you know our our place to live so i want to kind of yeah fortify the peanut plateau a bit more i guess i can't really claim it as my plateau because that dude chaos as you can see i don't know if you guys actually you know what if you don't go over and check out his channel man look at this building it's off tap man it is absolutely amazing let's go i'm gonna do a showcase i don't care doing it i hope you have uh shown it in your videos tdc deal with it. oh gray wind how original uh, no i can't i really can't blame you that's a cool oh wow that's 186 that's a nice looking direwolf man i love it love it cool but look check, check out this place man doesn't it look amazing like he made minecraft videos and stuff and um has always been an accomplished builder someone that even you know like youtubers who have been doing this for years they recognize him as an amazing builder and it sucks because his channel deserves a lot more 
um, credit than it's, it has got. So please go over. Like in my description, there's like a list of dudes who play on this server. There is one for TDC. Please click on it and just go check him out because he's like, he's like my brother from another mother. You know how it is. Anyway, let's check this out. This is yeah, pretty awesome design. So we got these sick ramps here. Um, they look really nice. I like how he's got the two levels going up. And then in here, this is all his all of his dinos. Some pretty cool looking designs he's got here. And then up here is some storage. Got a little packy there. Pinchy. And I just love the way it's sort of like... I, if you look at my stuff, it's very symmetrical. Um, as opposed to this. This is very... I don't know what the word is. Like... A little bit better design, probably. <laughs> is more aesthetic, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, I think it looks really good. TDC is a top bloke. You guys should go check out his channel. And, like, I'm not saying go just click subscribe and then bugger off. Go watch a video. See if it's worth Like, I, I think you'll be highly surprised at the quality of content he puts out. You should definitely check it out. Let's jump back on the Quetzal. But, yeah. So, yeah, I guess I can't really call this place my own. Seeing as TDC has such a like established such a nice foundation here of his own but we can definitely make it ours it's a shared thing we're like husband and wife tdc and i um we share everything <laughs> we're getting married soon fyi yeah totally no um whew, so yeah i want to get that fence going this is going to be the first part is this baller gate that's what it's going to be the baller gate um i will probably montage this i will be montaging this because um, the building, oh, it's shiniest of the shiny saddles. The building will be an experiment. You'll probably see me dropping down stuff and deleting it. I want to kind of build, so as I said, the stone foundation is going across, the behemoth gate above it. Then I want a couple of crow's nests on either side, like we did in the last server and my last gates um, that you guys may remember. But I also want to try and bridge it across the top so that I can really walk from, like, from my base here. I want to be able to walk up and over the front of the gate and over to the other crow's nest on the other side. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, so let's get cracking. I'm going to go down here and grab some resources, then I'll start the montage.
So, what do you reckon? I kind of changed up the design a little bit. Sorry, it's night time, by the way. Stinky night cycle. Got it on Gamma 3. I mean, it, it helps, but just doesn't look as good as the daytime, which kind of is unfortunate. Ooh, see that yellow drop just over there? Do you see it? Like, just above my Quetzal there? How weird. It's, like, not rendered in, but it's rendered in that little bit. Uh, anyway, so I decided to give it the sloped um, corners there on each side. Now, I've kind of decided that I don't really need to climb up inside. I've got the ladders on the left-hand side here, but I don't on the right. But I don't really need to claim, climb up to the top because I don't have anything up there at the moment that I want to get to. Um, I may uh, build just off the sides, like maybe over here, some areas to put my turrets and like the um, ballistas. I reckon the ballistas would look pretty cool out here. Maybe I can like... Mm. Oh, I've got some ideas. I do have some ideas, and I'm going to work on this a bit more. Um, I definitely need to cover the back up. As you can see here, there's a little bit of an opening there. OCD is going to affect me, but the behemoth gate slotted in super nice, don't you reckon? Like, it's it looks smooth, man. It is suave, and it is also looking beasty. So I added those spiked walls just for a bit of extra aggressiveness, you know? It kind of looked like a giant, big, flat face before I added those and now I've put them in it says you know get out of here it's dangerous stay away from my base unless you have cookies so if you have cookies you can bring them inside that's fine you know and that's exactly what the spike will say and that's the exact message I want to get across to everybody coming by my place um, this I don't think I'll paint it but I think I know what I'm gonna do I know what I'm gonna do dudes. it's gonna be cool I'm gonna do it sometime soon I hope Oh, I'm, I'm sure I'll find some time in between now and tomorrow. Tomorrow, by the way, if you stick around and watch my usual schedule of videos, um, I will more than likely be doing a news update because there's some wicked stuff coming to Ark, as always. And I get super excited about it, and I like to make my little videos. And it seems to me that you guys enjoy my videos, so I appreciate that. Um, speaking of the, the, the gate, go back to the gate now. We'll go revert back in my loopy conversations that I have with myself basically um, what do you guys think like I want to know comments feedback give me the feedback on the gate do you think I should put uh, a, a, a brontosaurus on the top that'd be cool for no reason whatsoever whatever let me know in the comments below I always love to hear from you blokes hit that thumbs up button if you did like the design that I'm going with at the moment. It will get better, I promise. I'm going to work on it some more. And then we've got to look at doing the rest of the, um, the rest of our wall design around the outside because, um, you know, where all the trailer parks girls go around the outside. Um, the... Oh, I should eat some of this meat, actually, before it goes off. Yeah, there's a lot of work to be done in here. I actually went back and grabbed all the crew. I have been using the... So, when, when I do this, just so, what let you guys know sort of what I do. Um, is that yellow? No, it's white. I don't want no white drop. Um, I take my mammoth, I take my Dodocurus, and I take cold hands, my... Um, what do you call him? Uh, Megaloceros. Out there, I use each for their respective things. So, uh, mammoth for wood stone on my doty and then thatch for my megalostrus and pretty much just then load up inside here inside my beautiful big old quetzal they're so useful they're the best for like um what you call that stuff scaffolding like you know i'm just simply flying and then press e like you saw in the montage and then just whip it up man that's so good i absolutely love this mount and the platform saddle is quite useful even though didn't um i don't use it for building anymore like I, I ripped all of them off you know from last episode because i logged in and actually half the structures were missing and it just looked just derp city and to be honest i'm probably not even going to use it that much i mean it's just an idea i wanted to flesh out and show you guys and and that's cool and a video and i hope you enjoyed that as well but yeah i've got rid of it it's not very practical for what i want to use this bird for let's get rid of the gamma because it's morning time now there's the sun good morning sun it looks good. I'm loving the design here I'm going with, if I say so myself. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for this episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button and comment below with your thoughts. As always, my name is Menace, the General of the Peanut Army. Goodbye, my fellow peanuts.